I pointed this fact out to a few people exactly like you put it and I take it another step one more step further if his name was Sam Johnson he would not be president if his name was Alan Keyes he would not be president if his name was JT Watts he would not be president um, I also pointed out that um, I had heard that his mother is not an American she's actually from England I don't know any truth about this or what the whole story is about this but they say his mother is from England and his father is from Kenya a close friend of mine from Kenya says now they have a national holiday uh, I forgot what day it was but for now on out through the rest of the life Obama has a holiday in Kenya um, I have pointed out to several people that his father wasn't one of us um, his mother was allegedly from England and if that's the case she came here on vacation and had a baby or whatever I don't know and I really don't care um, then there was someone else who said he's not American at all and I said to myself if he's not American and he pushed this thing this limit he pushed it all the way to the end he got in the office and he's not American it's like, is that going to be messed up for black people? I'm like, no. It's funny. It's funny that um, people can fuck us all over, excuse my language, treat us crappy and treat us shitty. And um, it's all good. The fact that somebody of color might have snookered the entire world, that is fucking hilarious. And if he's not an American, and they're just playing games with us and shit, then I'm glad he did what he did because people have screwed us and screwed us over for a long time and um, if this man got over and put one over on America then good for him it's I mean as sad as as funny as it might sound if he got over good for him and a lot of people gonna look at this video I'm doing right now as a reply to your video and say Oh, I can't believe you saying that. I voted for Obama. Yeah, so what? He's the lesser of two evils. Just because he's brown, that don't mean I shouldn't have voted for him. Oh, I shouldn't vote at all. A lot of people hated on me for saying I wasn't going to vote for him. But the other guy never showed me shit, no reason to vote for him at all. So, when you look at the big, the big picture... I completely 100% agree with you. He is not one of us. And I made a statement that he didn't come, he wasn't poor like we was and said, well, his mama was a single a single mother and she did this and she did that and she did this. She wasn't in the hood doing it. She wasn't in, in the Cabrini Green apartments. She wasn't in Chicago doing it on welfare, surrounded by black people. She wasn't doing it. His grandma was white. Raised him. Come on. Oh, and he talked about all the racial things that she used to say. Come on, man. Shit. The motherfuckers didn't want that, that big nose African messing with their daughter. Come on, man. And you look at the big picture, man. And you said it yourself in your video. His father is a direct link from Africa. Ain't no trickle down mixed with the white man for years and shit questioning his race because he light skinned not dark skinned come on we all know who he is or what he is and he is not one of us and I can say this without any remorse I voted for this man because he was a lesser of two evils um, I don't agree with every one of his policies just like you don't and I did a series of videos, He Ain't God. And a lot of people talking about, oh, well, he's black now. We can't use the race card no more. I never used the race card. Even when even when the, 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 the whole deck of cards was stacked against me, and I know I could win if I play this. If I play this one card, I can win. I let the whole, the whole hand just 
fuck it. If I got to use a race car to, to get from A to B, fuck it. I don't want it. And um, white people, I've noticed, are using a race car now. We're white. We don't get this. We don't get that. And I've seen it. And a lot of white people complain. And I've, I see white people complain because I'm around white people a lot. And they complain about the Mexicans. And they complain about this. And they complain about that. And when I'm not around, I bet you they probably complain about me. But I completely believe everything you say. This man is just a man in a suit. He's another one of them. As far as I'm concerned, he's a manager. They wanted a certain manager, and they got him. At first, I thought it was some kind of joke. They're going to allow a black man to run for president and put him in a position to lose. And he used his brain, and he won. Um, I look back at when Alan Keyes was trying to get the Democratic... Uh, Democratic Republican nomination. See, the Republicans locked him out of the convention. Alan Keyes could not even go to the Republican convention. You know, not this time around, but the time before this, uh, you know. They wouldn't let him participate. You know, and it's pitiful. I like J.T. Watts. That brother was dark-skinned fireball. He was... Rrr, rrr, rrr. That's a brother like that can get some shit done. Alan Keyes, he made a lot of sense in what he said, but they made him out to look like a crazy kook. And this Obama, well, was Tiger Woods, man. Handsome black guy. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. America just went through the biggest popularity contest in history. And he did not win because he was uh, the most qualified. He won because he's a sexy looking brother, looking cool, a little Will Smith ish. It's a fucking popularity contest. You could have put, like I said, if you would have put a beautiful woman up against him, you know, I don't know, make a black or white or whatever, I don't know, just put a beautiful woman up against him, a smart, beautiful woman, she would have beat him. Why? Because people was looking at him. Oh, look at the cool black guy. He's young, charismatic. And nobody talking about none of the accolades you need to be the president. He's so young, very well spoken. He can do it. I would have preferred to see Jack Smith in there, John Thompson, Leroy Edgar. But you're right. I, a regular guy from California. Born in 1969, I am blacker than Barack Obama. Why? Because I lived in the hood or the ghetto? No. Because my father was black. My mother was black. My grandmother. There's pictures. My great great grandmother. There's pictures of her where if you could see what was going on outside that room in that black and white photo, it was probably chaos. The dogs was probably nipping at people's feet. But um, the plight of humanity is what I'm talking about. And it's black, it's white, it's brown, it's orange, and it's yellow. And it has nothing to do with Barack Obama, millionaire. When he's done, he'll have a mansion and a yacht. He's already got the mansion, he just needs the yacht. It's time that somebody poor, regardless of what color they are, is chosen to lead this country. Because somebody with something is always going to look towards keeping what they already got. And how many black people you know can walk up and ask everybody for $5? And half of the people that ask for $5, give it to them? Please. If America was conned, it was conned very well, very good. And on time. You've been tubed. Drink one for Obama. No advertisement in this video. I can't let you know. <laughs>